Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. This is a dream that I have had since lunch and I am not giving up on it now. Time to make the donuts. Fire Patrol! I lied! <laughs> I'm Prison Mike! You know why they call me Prison Mike? Been a lot of fun talk about prison today, but I am here to scare you straight. I am here to scare you straight! Wow, prison sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks. Depression? Isn't that just a fancy word for feeling Bummed out? Dwight, you ignorant slut! I am beautiful. They are beautiful. He is beautiful. This big fat pig is beautiful. Oh, yes! There were these huge bins of clothes, and everybody was rifling through them like crazy, and I grabbed one. And it fit. Perfect. So I don't think that this is totally just a woman's suit. At the very least, it's bisexual. What the hell's going on back there? Ah! I'm gonna kill myself! I am Willy Wonka! Oh, oh, oh! And while I eventually puked my guts out, I never puked my heart out. And I'm very, very proud of that. This is the worst. Something about Pam with a DOS shotgun is just really cool. I'm not going down for this! All right, so here we are with Pam. Pam Pam and her Pam Pams. And we're gonna do a little tour of the base. So I wanted the building to look kind of boxy with that like layer of windows in the middle. A funny story, if you actually look at the exterior shot, it, it has no windows on the upper floors. And that's Bruh. obviously inaccurate because they're always looking out of the windows down to the parking lot. Huh? And downstairs, warehouse. I didn't put a bunch of shelves, even though that's what it looks like, but I wanted it to be a practical camp that I could use. So that's why I got workbenches, got my bed back there, allies down here. Let's go upstairs. And here's Dunder Mifflin. Here's Jan and Michael. That guy actually looks like Michael. And here's reception. Pam's little paradise. And let's go back to sale. Uh, not sales, accounting. And uh, yeah, there's Angela's cats. I got a, one on the wall, one on the desk, one over here. <coughs> and back here at Meredith's desk, there's this map on the wall. Let me get a water real quick. There's this map on the wall because in the show, if you look over her shoulder, there's actually a map on the wall behind her. And here we got Dwight's desk. If you notice, I put some figurines on top. That's because he has that bobblehead. 
And we go over to Jim's desk. You notice the mallard. <laughs> if you're an office fan, you know what the mallard is. You can take it back off screen. Now over to Phyllis and Stanley's desks. If you look on Phyllis' desk in some shots, you'll see like a doll. That's why I put that doll there. And now on to Michael's office. This statue is actually from Nuclear Winter. So you can't get it anymore. They don't do that mode anymore. Same with this chair. These are both Nuclear Winter Awards. I'm not sure if they add them to the Atom Shop or if they've done it already, but if they don't, they're legacy items. And here's the conference room. If I could get in there. There we go. So TV, where they watch that logo bounce back and forth. Why, oh why do we keep printing this on white? No, oh, come on! Yeah! And back here, there actually isn't an annex. I, again, I wanted like a practical camp, so I got my coffee, cooking station. Let's see if Pam can cook anything for us. Okay, got nothing. Ooh. 